Hey everybody, it's me, Stella Wild, and I'm here with your weekly tarot scope for January 13th through January 19th. And uh, this week I am going to break it down sign by sign. I don't do this every week, but this week um, I always kind of tune in psychically and listen for guidance from my spirit guides. And they're telling me to break it down sign by sign this week and do little mini readings for you all. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Before we get into that, I just want to say thank you to everybody who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing. It is so great to see the messages reaching so many people. And I love you all and appreciate you all for taking the time to watch the videos. And hopefully, as I said, these messages are helping you um, with your daily life with what's going on with you and as always i love to hear what's going on with you so please do leave comments and let me know how the reading resonates for you before i start i'm already shuffling before i start i also just want to mention that my year ahead reading special is still available that is on my website also the sale is still on for your luck and opportunity forecast uh, it is only $9.97 to get a lot of valuable material about your luck and opportunity for 2019. And you can get that on my website. I will leave a link in the description. It's only on sale until January 22nd, the day of the full moon. So you might want to take advantage of that now. Okay, so here is the way the reading's going to go this week. Because we like to keep it fresh. We got to keep it fresh. Um, I'm going to draw for each sign, as I already said, and I'm going to start with an angel card to get the general energy that you'll be dealing with for this week or an area of concern uh, area that you'll need to you know, focus in your, your attention on. Um, I will clarify with a couple of my John Holland tarot cards. And then after that, I had a special request <laughs> from one of my loyal viewers, loyal fans, and she asked if I would please continue doing the angel card when I ask you guys to think of a question and then I pull a card. So we'll do that for each sign this week, not the elements, but each sign will get an angel answer card. So <laughs> let me get settled in because this is going to take a little time and let's get into it. And as you know, I have to pause the video every 10 minutes or so so my computer doesn't have a meltdown all right so let's get into this i hope that you had a good week it's been a very interesting week this last week <laughs> that's all i'm gonna say it's been it's been very interesting um a lot of different things happening we're already feeling shifts with the eclipse i certainly have been feeling it people that you know are close friends of mine have been feeling it so I hope that the eclipses are treating you well. Um, all right, so let's get started. And last, but certainly not least, are my lovely Pisces. So my Pisces, what do they need to know about their week ahead? What is going on with them? As we build up to this full moon lunar eclipse, What do they need? To, oh, that one just, see how that did that? It just popped over. So you have playfulness. This is about joy for you this week. I am going to pull another one. So this is about having a good time, enjoying maybe some uh, hobbies, games, movies, things that just make you feel, make you feel good. That's a lovely. And with other people, too, because we have these little cherubs all in a group. So, you know, enjoying the company of other people, you know, going out for coffee, hanging out, talking with people, having fun. All right, what else do my Pisces need to know? Because if you watch the monthly video, you, you kind of had a lot going on this month that you were dealing with. So I think it's good. You, you do need a little bit of a time out, Pisces, to just kind of regroup and be with people who get you and 
and relax, but play. Because you've been dealing with some serious, kind of serious stuff, and you need to take a little break from that. Whoa, whoa, ho, ho, flipping over again. One is flipping over. I think Aries got this. Celebration. So there will be something by the full moon, full moon, that you will be celebrating, Pisces. So let's tune in with the tarot cards and find out what that is. So that's good. Let's see. What do my Pisces need to know? Celebration. Oh my God, this card keeps coming up. Scorpio got it. Aquarius got it. Or was it? No. Yeah. Capricorn got it. I think Aquarius got it too. Did Sag get it? Sag got it. Everybody's getting this card. Vict well, not everybody, but victory and success. There is something. I want to know what this victory and success is going to be about. That you're going to be celebrating this week. Let's see. I want to know more. That's the six of wands. So for some of you, it's about a job because that's been a concern. So there could be a new job offer this week, Pisces. And it's going to be something you want that's going to be like a big announcement that you are going to be finally saying to people, oh, and then this happened, you know, and you're going to be really excited. Okay, so we got the Three of Swords also because I wanted additional information. So for some of you, when I said the job, the job, um, the job offer that's going to come in, that was just intuitive. But now looking, you know, psychic, hearing that. But now this is heartache and loss. I feel some of you will be celebrating finally getting over a heartbreak because you are probably going to meet somebody this week or you are at the very least going to be in the company of people who are going to be very fun and I mean maybe they're not people you're necessarily going to date but it may even be people you flirt with it brings out that playful energy in you again that you thought was gone forever because of this heartache and loss so it doesn't mean you're having heartache and loss this week because the question was, what are you going to be celebrating, right? So you're going to be celebrating getting over this. So if some of you had particularly this energy with this full moon lunar eclipse ties in with the end of July and that crazy eclipse, full moon lunar eclipse we had at the end of July. So Pisces, if you had the ending of a relationship at that time, you may finally be feeling now at this full moon eclipse that you have made a big turning point in healing from that heartache and loss. And that is something to celebrate. And I also feel that for some of you, you will be in an environment in which it is possible. It could just, like I said, be playful energy, but it could also be flirtatious energy. And there might be a possible dating opportunity around you this week as well so and for others of you it's going to be a new job coming in so very very nice energy you will feel lighthearted again this week there will be there's been a heaviness around you there, but there's been some unresolved relationship things that you've been going through there's been some job there's a little bit of health things different things going on but i think this week um you know, you can you can really turn a corner. In the monthly, I also said, or was it in my monthly horoscope? I don't remember which one, but just be careful of your uh, health this week, Pisces. Not that anything's gonna bad's gonna happen, but with all the flu and respiratory things that are going on, just make sure that you're getting extra rest and vitamin C, and you know, you boost your immune system with vegetables and good nutrients and things like that because of where that eclipse is happening for you in your um, in your sixth house of health so you just want to make sure that you know you're you're healthy this week with with that kind of thing 
so. All right, let's ask a question. You can ask a question and we'll pull a card. Um, because it would be terrible if you had a cold this week and then you couldn't go out and enjoy this playful energy. So just take care of yourself. All right, so ask a question. We'll pull a card. Be your answer. The card may also reflect more information about the reading we just did. All right, yeah, that one's popping. Oh, I got two. Two? What is this? Two keep popping out. We got a year from now and ask for help from others. Okay. I feel like this is the answer to a question that somebody was asking. I think in a year from now, you are going to have um, a major shift in your love life in particular, a year from now. So whatever happened, whatever's been happening in your love life, a year from now, that situation is going to be totally, totally turned around. So um yeah i'm feeling i'm feeling it's the love life i think the job stuff is just kind of you know it's still kind of getting worked out for you um it's 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 important to you but it's not as top of mind as some of this relationship stuff has been for you pisces that's been more important in a way for you for most pisces um, so I feel a year from now, I think this is giving us information about this um, fully healing from this. I think a year from now, you are probably going to be in a much different relationship space, if you know what I mean. All right. Okay. I hope you have a great, great week ahead, Pisces. So that's it for me for the full moon lunar eclipse week leading up to that on the 21st. I hope you all have a beautiful week and that, yeah, please like leave a comment. Let me know how the reading resonates for you. And I would love to hear how this eclipse plays out um, energetically for you as well. So I hope everybody has a great week. Take care and I will see you soon. Stella Wilde signing out.